Hello, I'd like to demonstrate my glitter material. Drag into, into the shelf, choose base material and current session. Input. Next, add two layers. If it works slowly, use 1K or 2K resolution. I'm using 2K resolution. Next, turn on high map because it includes normals and we should leave one of them. Also, we have ability to invert normals if need. Let's uh, tune our material. We have base net fabric. We can change its color or turn off it. So we can use any fabric as a base. Let's go to our particles. Uh, we can scale our particles, decrease or increase amount, and scale random and uh, change the amount of particles levels. We have one, two or three levels. Change color. I like red. Looks good. And uh, let's add random. Also, we can add holes and change its size. We can add sides to our polygon to make it more round. Uh, let's add another base fabric. For example, velvet. Add again the base material, current session and input. Add it under our glitter material into layers. Turn off high map again. Increase scale to 10 and come back to our glitter. We can change particles masks. Here we have some standard masks. Uh, for example, stripes or flowers, ornament, no mask or we can use custom mask. Let's create our own mask. Add fill layer. Uh, leave our uh, only color map. And make it completely black. And next add paint and add anchor point. and name it, for example, a mask. Uh, next, uh, go to custom pattern mask input and choose our anchor point. And now we can paint. Let's paint something. Uh, next, turn off our fillet and we can see a result. I've noticed that something wrong with these normals. Let's check it. The blend is not correct. Let's change blending mode to normal. Ready pattern mask, we can add fill instead of paint. Uh, let's use uh, Substance logo as an example. 
Let's find it. Drag it to base color. Uh, switch off other maps. And scale it, no tiling. Move it as you need. And ready. Enjoy. And use 4K if you want. Good result. Thank you for watching.